Okay, see who's out there tonight. And I'm going to start anyway. I'm not going to wait for people to show up here. Okay, build it and they shall come, I guess. Here we go. Let's just talk about something interesting here tonight. Uh, okay, I was watching a movie called Otto. Now, Otto played by Tom Hanks. What could we say about Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks plays his role very good in the movie Otto, as you would expect him. Now, let me tell you a little about Otto. Otto was a guy in... I don't know, he worked in some engineering business or something. He retired from the job. He had lost his wife in a, they were in a bus accident. She was pregnant. She became crippled and then wind up dying of cancer. Now it has poignant moments in a movie and Otto was a kind of a strange sort. He was like, a, and it is a lesson from this. And that's why I'm talking about this. The lesson is to be learned just from listening to me and my show. All right, another one of my philosophical moments, but hey, deal with it or just go bye-bye. Otto was a very regimental person. He did everything's on time. He even went to the same restaurant that every day and he used to buy like a cinnamon roll or something, him and his wife at one o'clock. Dead or not, he'd always show up at one o'clock and he'd leave exactly two o'clock. Uh, he lived in this uh, kind of a gated community and uh, he was kind of a, uh, oh, head of the, I don't know, the community, what do you want to call it? Community headquarters, whatever he was, he, Watched everything that was going on there, made sure the gate was closed, but people went in and out, blah, 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 the whole thing. He became a very lonely man, especially when his wife died. And uh, he just uh, kind of rejected being close. He was always seemingly very grumpy all the time, you know. Never really see him smile, you know. Very regimental. And uh, this uh, Spanish couple moved next door. They became really good friends just to kind of push it forward a little bit. You have to watch the movie. Anyway, the motto of the story is um, Otto, on many occasions, wanted to kill himself. He didn't see any reason to live. He didn't have anybody till, well, a stray cat kind of came into his life. And at first, you know, he rejected everything, rejected the cat. Cat kind of, you know, <laughs> wangled the way to his heart, I guess, took it in. He did a lot of great things for people, and people loved him for the things that, that he did. He he's very good with his hands. He fixed things, fixed their dishwasher, fixed something else, but nobody could. He did favors for people who was very, very talented as some sort of engineer for this company. All the neighbors knew him. They knew him to be strict and regimental and didn't seem to be very friendly with anybody. He kind of hated society and, uh, you know, hated real estate agents. Except they trying to take his friend's place away. And a long story. You have to watch the movie called Otto. It's on Netflix. And there's a lesson to be learned from there that he basically started to live life and realized that he can't live for his ex, his, his deceased wife's memories. And he didn't want anybody to touch anything in the house that had to do with her, her clothing and everything, you know. And he'd visit all the time her grave and he would talk to her and a very, you know, it's heart touching, you know, some comical moments in there, but it's a, uh, it was touching a man's love for his woman and i don't want to you know tell you everything about the movie it's something you got to see it's on netflix it's called otto i think it's a new release tom hanks but there's a lesson to learn from this and a lesson to learn from this movie without giving you spoilers and everything is that basically um you got to let go of things and this could pertain to people on youtube too. you have to let go of things so that you can live your life and he decided, he realized the love he had from his neighbors and people that really appreciated him, no matter how grumpy he could be, that he kind of had a family, you know. And this is like for you lost souls out there who come to this country, and you're very alone before you come here, and maybe you find yourself alone out here. And, uh, if, you know, if this matches anybody out there without, you know, naming names, if it pertains to you, then take it to heart. If not, you know, just enjoy the story and watch the movie, see if you like it. I think it's worthwhile watching once. Said so even though you're alone, you don't have to be miserable. You get a pet if you have to. You've got to socialize a bit. And maybe family didn't treat you good, whatever your particular reason is. Maybe you found it hard finding a woman in your life. So here you are in a uh, whole different country and you're just miserable and you want to take it out on everybody because you're just not happy internally. You don't think you could change. You just don't think it's worth it. You take it out on everybody else and you try to hurt people. People have feelings. Maybe you don't. 
or some of you out there don't, but people actually have feelings. You try to hurt people's feelings. Why do you really do that? You just really trying to hurt yourself some more. Is it actually not punishing the other person, but is it actually punishing yourself further for your inadequacies, for your loneliness, for your misery? Something to think about. Self-reflect. Watch the movie Auto. Self-reflect.